Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh. Today we're talking about Maya Knight again. Lots of people have been messaging me a lot of her videos. There is a lot of content to go through when it comes to Maya Knight. One of the reasons I use Maya specifically for a large example is because she's got a massive following on TikTok and she's a bad mom. The end. I don't care. But she's leaving the door open for so many other moms to be bad moms. And the, the craziest part of this whole Maya Knight depths in which her fans are willing to go to protect her and to like stand up for her and all this stuff with the proof staring them right in the face. So let's get to it. Today we're going to talk about uh, a couple of things. First, we're going to dive into this idea that she leaves her kids in her cribs for hours at a time, which, no, don't care, don't do it. And the Reddit thread actually has some good points, some good comments made, um, specifically from kids who went through this type of thing. So I'm going to try to attempt to show you guys today that she is not an attentive mother. She's actually a bad mother. And I promise I won't make fun of her. I will just focus on her parenting. How about that? I want to address first the drinking thing. Now, if you go through Maya's videos, and I haven't, because I don't have that kind of time. A lot of people accuse me of not knowing enough about the people that I talk about. Well, I don't have time to watch their content. My benchmark for covering somebody is this. Do you exploit your children for money? Can I prove it? That's it. And I've done that in spades already with Maya Knight. I haven't even gone through a tenth of her videos yet. And I've got tons of people sending me more and more and more videos about the problematic things. You know of the millions of people that follow her, the haters that she has accumulated, which is a lot by now, are already combing through every effing video. They already found racism in her family and her best friend. So if you don't think anything more is going to come up, it is. Now, do I want to see Maya cancel? No. What I would love to see is Maya Knight take her kids off of the internet. Maybe in passing. Sure but not make the content about the children. We're a year in now and people are celebrating these kids' birthday like they're their own kids. All you have to do is go to My Night's videos and look at the comment section to be scared to death of what parasocial relationships look like online. It's real, it's dangerous, it's scary. And Maya doesn't seem to care, even though there's so many people calling her out. But I wanna show you this one so where she admits to being negligent. This is them at a bar. This is the situation right now. <laughs> this is the situation. We're drinking with our kids at the bar. Uh, uncle Aiden is going to come get us. So she just said her uncle, her brother, is going to come pick them up because they are too inebriated to drink. And I saw one white claw there, so they're having cocktails or whatever you call it. I just also don't... <laughs> Like, I understand if you're going out to have, I understand if you're taking your kids out, you're having dinner, you're having a drink with dinner. That's, I get that. Like, lots of people do that. I don't, but lots of people do that. But they go out to drink with their kids. It's not like you're eating. You're just drinking. That's all they're doing. And Maya Knight drinks a lot. She's got TikToks where she's like, you know, get drunk one night, have unprotected sex. Look what I got. She celebrates it like Jess fam. It's a big flex for them for some reason. But she doesn't, Maya Knight will not tell you this because she can't, but she has, an, and this is what so many people have been saying, allegedly has a big drinking problem. And so many people struggle with this. So I'm not saying, not pointing it out to say, oh, you're a jerk for having a drinking problem. If you have a drinking problem, you need to get help, is what I'm saying. Stop hiding it because in the end, who are you going to hurt? But let's continue. We've only had one. This is only our second place, so we're fine. But like, So she, this is our second place, is what she said. And we're fine, but she's calling her brother to come get them because she's being responsible, right? So we can give her props for that. She's had one, but doesn't feel comfortable driving. I want you to remember that. Obviously can't drive. Obviously can't drive. That's kind of mean to pick on mom's double chin. Also, Miss Scout spilled half of Auntie Jillian's wine, so she didn't. For some reason, Maya is really good at pouring alcohol on her kids. If you're in a situation where you're, where I've seen two videos already where you've poured alcohol on your kids, that's what I consider trashy. This is a trashy thing to do. Taking your kids to a bar, with, like, and it's not a restaurant, that's a bar, taking toddlers to a bar, and look, they poured wine over them, and she's cracking White Claws, and pouring White Claws on her kids by accident. I'm just saying, guys, this is not indicative of good mothering, and should not be held to the standard of what you should 
think a mother should be. At least most of us can agree. Those who don't agree with that statement likely do exactly what she does. And again, I've said this before about my Knights fans, that you attract those who are like-minded. So likely those moms who are saying this is okay, do that themselves. And yes, obviously I grew up with an alcoholic mother. And so I have trauma based on alcoholism as a young person. But some people, again, seem to think that I should not be able to have a say because of my trauma. I'm telling you, because I have trauma, my voice should have more weight because I've experienced it. That was not nice. Mm -hmm. That was not nice of you. Your content is garbage. Just stare at my kid for two seconds while I say something in the camera. It's so bad. You guys, I always thought that I was an introvert, but I need to be like constantly, like I should not be out doing stuff right now. Like I am so tired and I've been, I have Okay, so, <laughs> so I should not be out right now. I am so tired, but you're out drinking with the kids and pouring and spilling alcohol on your babies. And you're calling your brother to come pick you up. So not only are you inebriated, you're so tired, you shouldn't be out. So why are you out drinking? slept in four days. She hasn't slept in four days. But I've come to the conclusion that you can sleep when you're dead. You can sleep when you're dead. Well, okay. You can sleep when you're dead and you just need a party all the time. So everybody, this influencer has over 7 million subs, says, sleep when you're dead, party instead. That rhymes, but that's her mantra. And I'm telling you guys, if you think that's just a joke, it's not just a joke. We can see it in her content. Like, I don't even get stressed about not sleeping anymore because I'm like, I can get, I can sleep tonight. I can sleep tonight. Okay, so I wanted you to remember that because this one just came up. Okay, we just finished their year pictures and we were driving home and we passed a bar. So obviously had to stop. So you finish your year pictures, which everybody's been begging for. Your fans are weird. And so you see a bar. Of course you have to stop at a bar. Look, everybody, I know you think it's jokes. Nope. These aren't jokes because we have videos of proof. You do not have to stop at a bar when you pass a bar, everybody. That's not the thing you should be doing. Okay, but that's not the point of this video. Let's continue. I want you to remember the last video. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> I got a, it's like guava and orange seltzer. Okay. Who watches this? very yummy. So bad! Mm -hmm. Not for you, though. <laughs> Not for you, though, because it's alcoholic. Just so, in case there's an argument to me, because I've read some of the comments. What if it was a non-alcoholic seltzer? It's not. Why would you stop at a bar to get non-alcoholic seltzers? You're still being good? That's so weird. Hi. So, so you're literally drinking in a bar where the kids hang out in a car seat on the floor at a bar. Guys, I'm, I don't care what you think. I mean, once in a blue effing moon, okay, maybe. But that's the point with Maya Knight. It's not once in a blue moon. <laughs> We're gonna go to my favorite restaurant after this, and then my second favorite restaurant after that. Wow, so you, you can't have that. <laughs> so they're gonna go bar hopping, is what she's saying. Why would you go to multiple restaurants? <laughs> yeah. Bar, I don't understand bar hopping. Can't you just get the same drink at this bar that you can get at another bar and all that? Why would you go to multiple restaurants? Is what I'm telling you guys. She doesn't even eat. All I've ever seen her do is drink. Okay, so I wanted to point that video out real quick because it's important that you know that she says in the first video that she's had one drink, so she called her brother to pick her up. And she just admitted in this video after drinking one drink, a seltzer, that she's gonna go to another restaurant and then another restaurant. Now, she might have a taxi or an Uber or whatever, say, but she doesn't point that out. She doesn't say that. So we're going to assume that she's driving with her kids while she's inebriated. This is her friend. I think, I, I swear to God, I hate that. I know this. I think it's Jillian. Um, about talking about, there's just, <laughs> all they do is drink. This is my second margarita and they're a little strong, but <laughs> someone made me get another one. <laughs> so you're being, okay. So they're really strong margaritas and, and Maya made me get another one. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. Anyone knows of a daycare to put these little shits into in Vermont? Let us know. <laughs> now, what did she just feed that baby? Did she literally just give that kid a spoonful of margarita? I hope they clarify. That good? What is it? <laughs> what is it? 
spicy? Clarify. Spicy. Uh, okay, uh, what? Unless she clarifies, I'm pretty sure she just gave her kid spoonfuls of margarita, which has alcohol in it, right? Am I crazy? Maya, you need to come out and clarify what it is you had in that spoon and that you said the word spicy, which means alcoholy, like alcohol burns, right? Did she honestly just feed her kid margarita? Okay, that's three videos that someone sent me in one email about the drinking and then put these little shits in daycare because, you know, whatever. Funny, ha ha ha. Again, they, they, if, if I went through every single one of Maya's videos about drinking and put it together, it would be a 20 minute video. Okay, 30 second TikToks full of the drinking. The reason I, I wanted to point out the first video where she said her brother's coming to get her even though she's only had one drink and she doesn't feel, you know, she should be driving. The second video, drinking as well and then admitting that she's going to other restaurants and then other restaurants. Doesn't say anything about her brother and she's with her friend who's also drinking. I don't see any designated driver. The kids are too young to drive. Even though the comment section would tell you, oh, the kids can drive because they think they're so funny. Maya, your fans are not funny. They're all bad. People who stand up for my night, you're bad people. You should feel bad. Okay. I want you guys to look at this website real quick. I know you guys are going to like, oh, roll your eyes a little bit, but like, I wanted to point this out. I want to show you guys the laws in Vermont, in Vermont for DUIs for driving under the influence. Okay. Blood alcohol content is the official measurement used by law enforcement agencies across the country to express how much alcohol is in the bloodstream of a driver. Okay. Officers in Vermont typically use one of two chemical tests, blood and breath. Okay. So results of these chemical tests are usually the best pieces of evidence the state has to prosecute drunk drivers. Now, do I think that Maya is drunk here? No. And Maya would probably tell you she has a high alcohol tolerance because she drinks a lot, right? But I want to, I want to read this to you. This matter is what we're about to read here. In every state across the country, it is illegal to operate a vehicle with a BAC over 0 0.08. Drivers of commercial vehicles cannot exceed 0 0.04 and minors 0 0.2. The number of drinks it takes for different people to reach an illegal BAC level can vary greatly depending on the, indiv the individual's height, weight, and metabolism. Maya Knight is like 110 pounds. So you have to take that into consideration. She's probably like 5'6", 110 pounds, straight up, tired all the time. So I'm sure her metabolism isn't flaring up. Okay? I need you. I, need, I know you guys think I'm reaching, but I want you to be here. Tolerance generally doesn't affect a person's actual BAC. And in fact, having a high tolerance is oftentimes more risky because more experienced drinkers may not feel as intoxicated as non-drinker, as a non-drinker, even though they've had the same number of drinks and therefore have the same BAC. Having a high tolerance can trick many people into thinking they're under the limit when they're not. So my conclusion here, or my allegation, is that Maya Knight drives illegally with her children drinking. And if Maya's not driving and her friend is doing it, she's also drinking with her friend. So that's what I'm saying here. Unless she clarifies these positions and these things that she does, she's too much of a public figure to let that just ride to like everybody making it up. So I'm here saying something that I'm alleging. I hope she comes out and says, I don't drive drunk. Every time I drink, I get a designated driver. I call an Uber because of her mass influence over people. She needs to tell people it's not okay ever to drive drinking. Because again, this rule, the BAC has nothing to do with your tolerance, has everything to do with your blood alcohol level and the size and weight that you are. Okay. Needless to say, the amount of times that she's been drunk, like she says, I'm too drunk. I have to go home. You are parenting. And I've said this before, and I will stand on this. If there is nobody else in the home to take care of children, you should not be high and you should not be drunk. If you are the only source of care for your children and you are constantly getting drunk, that is a very dangerous place to be. This is the argument that I see all the time in a thing. She's a mom of twins. Let her live. Are you serious? No, she's a mom of twins with a massive platform and is telling people it's okay to do these things. It's never going to be okay to be intoxicated with drugs or alcohol if you are the caregiver of your children. Right? I think we can, most sane people can agree with that statement, right? So we've got tons, of, and I'm going to put a whole entire video, all of Maya's drinking. And I want to show you guys how they, they all say it's rare. She does it so rarely. She doesn't at all. And she's been on camera being drunk and is the caregiver for her friend, for her children. And her friend is drunk too. So her friend can't help. I'm just telling you, there's never ever an okay reason to be inebriated or drunk or high 
ever, if you are the sole caregiver for your children, prove me wrong. That's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Maya. Okay, okay so the other thing that's popping in the Reddit thread right now is this idea that Maya's comment on leaving babies in cribs, and this is what she says about it. Babies are yelling for me to come get them, so. Good morning. Oh, you are not playing dead this morning. That's so nice. What about you? We'll come back to the bottle comment in a second. Apparently, like, there's two bottles in this baby's crib right now, okay? We'll talk, and you'll see in the comment section of this Reddit thread, a lot of people were saying, because I don't know a ton about this, because we never let our children lay in a crib for two hours every morning and give them bottles with rotten milk in them. We didn't do that because we're good parents. Hi. <laughs> Hi. God. <laughs> Hi. We got crazy hair. We got to take a bath this morning. Oh, she... So, showing off that she has diarrhea poop in her pamper, okay, and has been sitting in diarrhea for we don't know how long. Could be half the night. Could be six, seven hours. Could be two hours. It's going to be at least an hour and a half. Watch. In her onesie, but... Uh. So, why don't you change your kid's diaper before you do a TikTok? You just woke them up, or you just, they've been up for hours. Why don't you change the diaper first? Again, negligence. This is negligence. If your first priority is to do a TikTok before you care for your children, you're doing it wrong. Someone, I said yesterday that they had been upstairs in their crib for like an hour and a half, I think. Um, but they literally do that. Like they wake up in the morning and they just sit there and like babble and talk to each other. So she just admitted right there. For hours. 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 Her kid has been sitting in its own shit for hours. That can cause lots of problems, everybody, by the way, especially in, in girls. You know this. Mothers out there know this. Anybody standing up for her for this is wrong. That is negligence. Now, do you, should you have your kids taken away? No. But she just admitted she does this every day. Her kids sit in their cribs for hours babbling back and forth. Like, they don't yell for me to come get them. They don't do... Like, they literally are laughing. So... <laughs> That's because they're conditioned to do that because you just let them do that. That's an important thing that she's saying there. She's like, well, they're not, they're not responsible. It's their fault for not telling me that I should come get them. She literally just blamed her two toddlers that they're the ones who don't want to come get seen They're. I promise you if a kid is sitting in shit for hours and hours, that's really uncomfortable, really bad. So it tells me that you just do this all the time and the kids are used to it. That's all that tells me. It tells me they're used to your negligence. So I leave them up there because... Because why? If they're laughing, why would I ruin that? Why, why would I ruin that? Are you saying every day they just laugh for hours and hours? Mm -hmm. When they're ready to get out, they say, Mom! They don't, they can't talk. Mom! Okay. So I wanted to show you that. I thought that was really interesting because it correlates really well with this thread on Reddit, by the way. Okay. So the, the, the Reddit thread is this. Maya comments on leaving babies in cribs. And just like that, she magically addresses the issue of leaving babies in cribs by saying babies are laughing and chatting in the cribs for the hour and a half they're, they're left there. But she said hours. She didn't say hour and a half. She said hours. Two kids left for hours as they wake up. That's a terrible schedule, by the way, anyway. Meanwhile, two seconds prior, she shows the nasty explosion that poor baby had to sit on until mom decided to get her. Do better. The baby shouldn't have to entertain each other just because they're not crying doesn't mean they're not suffering. Exactly. Now, this gets interesting. I literally commented, in, and of course, I'm getting backlash and people accuse me of questioning her parenting. The, you, you, I've proven to you, this person has proven to you, we've proven to you, Maya has proven to you, okay, that she lets her kids sit in their shit for hours and you're going to go to bat for Maya as a good parent? No. And admits she does it all the time. It's not like it's a one-off. If it was a one-off, I get it, right? I remember Westy had a blowout one day. And I almost barfed when I saw it. Because it was all the way up to his neck. And I went to, I went downstairs and I'm like, hey, mom, you, it smells weird there. You should go check it out. And I made my wife go change the diaper. But we would never let our kids sit in his filth for hours and hours and hours. Okay? If it's a one-off, I understand that. But it's not a one-off. So it says... Um, this isn't someone on TikTok who has a unique parenting style. This is someone who's neglecting their babies and defending it. My issue isn't really the letting them be alone, though. I don't think this is the best. It's the fact that they have poor hygiene because of her. Yes. The problem is that she knows if she goes up there and change them, then she can't leave them up there anymore because they will cry for her once she leaves. That should tell you right there that she doesn't want to have to deal with them. So she's not just letting them talk. Kids that young don't even really talk. A lot of people are saying it's independent play. 
But what are they playing with? Empty old bottles that were shoved in their face in the middle of the night. Because she gives her babies to keep them, you know, sustained so they stay asleep. It's not like they have been fed. It's not like they've been fed, washed, changed, and are not ready to play independently in their playpen. That is independent play. Instead, they're just waiting for their mom. Babies don't know better, and people take advantage of that so they can be lazy. Maya Knight is negligent. Independent play? Did Maya say it's independent play? No. It's her crazy stands making shit up. If you don't wake your children up when they're up, like you don't get up and go t- tend to your ch- children who have shit in their diaper and peed in their diaper, I consider you a terrible person. You're negligent at best, and at worst, you're disgusting. Here it is. The baby's not crying anymore is a learned behavior. This is a great comment. Why waste time crying when it doesn't get your needs met? It's abnormal for a child, especially that age, to stay silent in that environment with no stimulation for that amount of time. They have empty bottles and bars. Look at the behavior of babies in orphanages. I can echo this. Sister and I were orphanage babies, and neither of us cried until we were about two to three years old. We were adopted at one. We knew crying wouldn't do shit for us, so we just didn't do it. Mom, of course, freaked the F out because she thought something was wrong because we didn't cry. Someone else said, that's what I said. I got a reply saying they're bottles, not bombs. Excuse me, what? They are bacteria-ridden, God knows how old milk bottles. Depending, independent play is great for kids, but it also is not just taking them out of their cribs. My baby woke up before me this morning, which is rare, and he chilled for five minutes while I went to the bathroom and made his bottle. He wasn't crying, but I still got him and changed him and started the day. The fact that she pushes off getting them for so long makes it seem like she dreads having to start her parenting day. I'm not excited every morning. Some days are exhausting, and I'm essentially a single parent. Those babies will see the videos and come to conclusions that we do. Amen. In some other comments. The thing is, why even record this stuff for the world to see? If she didn't want backlash, which she knows will happen, why put it out there? I honestly believe that she likes the provocative nature of what she's doing. More engagement, more money. Yes, someone else said the fact that she saw the blowout and continued to film was disgusting. It's honestly bizarre to me how she defends it. They're babies. They can't get up out of their own cribs on their own. They have no choice. They can't speak coherent sentence to let her know when they're ready to be taken out of their crib. She picked them up, brought them downstairs, and started recording while they're covered in shit. Everyone's saying with their whole chest, when they're ready, they will let her know. That's the comment section, and we'll go. Maybe we'll go check it out. Someone says, and she comment, and she loves to comment on how smelly it is in their room every morning. Like, okay, you leave them marinating in feces and old milk, so yeah. Also, I'm cracking up at her fans' comments saying babies need to learn how to be independent. Ex- what? I love this comment section. It's full of people that have their head on straight. Everybody thinks that Maya's in the threads reading. She is in these threads reading. They're like, oh, hey, Maya, take care of your GD kids. <laughs> Again, another comment. What are the girls playing with? Dirty bottles? They're independently playing what? They're conversating because they have each other. That's all they have. The mother is negligent. So I want to go over to the TikTok real quick and read. The, I want you to read. I want to read some of these comments to you because it's absolutely disgusting. So here's the comment section and in every comment that she has and it's not not like it's getting old or anything. <sighs> Hi, vodka. They're always scotch and vodka. It's always scotch and vodka. The joke's old. Move on to something else. You're all bad at this. So Kelly Fortier writes, nothing wrong with letting them have a good time. Kelly Fortier, you're wrong and dumb. And I hope you're not a mom. They're not having a good time. These kids are conditioned to know that even if they cry out because they have a shitty diaper, it doesn't matter because their mom won't come get them. Their mother, who's supposed to be protecting them, cleaning them, helping them, is ignoring them. It's conditioning. It's crazy. I was a nanny for twins, and it's totally normal. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you're not working anymore. Marie says, everyone has their own parenting opinions and beliefs. Well, I think that most parents should have the opinion that letting your kids stew in shit for two hours is not a good thing. There's, that's not a parenting hack or skill. That is negligence because it can cause diseases. I love these comments. Sierra Lee writes, me and my twin did that. You don't need to be with your baby 24-7. Give them space. Are you kidding me? Babies literally need care 24-7 or they'll die. You idiots. Who are, again, this is who she's attracting to her channel. These are people who say they're in parents. I'm so scared that parents are like this. Because I, because obviously I went through this kind of crap and I'm so scared that kids are absolutely going through this right now. Wrote in, Rode writes this, this video shows the baby in her arms sitting on her shit and she's not complaining because she's used to it. And then someone writes, they probably do get bad diaper rashes. And I love these comments. Jen writes this, you sure assume a lot about kids that aren't yours. You should try not worrying about what someone else does with their own kids. Not your business. Yet here you are, Jen, watching other people's children on TikTok. Like it's your business. And you're standing up for them. What's, what business of yours if someone says, hey, maybe you shouldn't let your kids stew in shit for two hours and get rashes? Who are you, Jen? You idiot. 
And here's a weird comment from Luis Moriarty. I can't wait till they can speak to me. They're not going to speak to you, Luis. You're nasty and weird. And please stop commenting on other people's families. Someone says, girl, what? These comments. That's good for them to lay in the crib just talking. If they aren't screaming their heads off, then there isn't anything wrong when... With with it, it teaches. It teaches what? It teaches the independent play. Again, this is the comment about the independent play. Someone says, yes, self-regulation is important. It starts at infancy. Self-regulation. They're toddlers. They can't even stop shitting themselves. Who are these people? Good morning, Scotch and Vodka. I hate you. Uh, Desiree Grimmer writes, it's healthy for them to sit together without mom and talk. Don't let anybody tell you different. Yeah, it would be healthy. You know, kids should have independent play, but not at the expense of the morning when they need to be getting up to the routine and not, not stewing in literal feces with old bottles. What don't you get about this? And then yeah, someone says, smeared shit definitely looks healthy. Yeah, this one writes, literally no one cares that she lets them have alone time. It's leaving them in soiled diapers for hour plus at a time. She says a couple hours too, by the way. She can change them and leave. But someone said, right, she doesn't change them because as soon as she walks into that room to change the diaper or whatever, those kids are going to be like, okay, we're done. She does that on purpose. She leaves them alone on purpose because as soon as she appears, then she knows she has to take them out of the cribs. So she does what she does on the internet. And then before she changes and before she takes care of her children, she literally makes a TikTok. The Ellis Island writes, never disturb happy babies. Do you think this baby's happy sitting in shit? And then this person says, dirty diapers can cause rashes, rashes and infection. And then Ellis Island says, well, obviously you don't leave them sitting in filth. Well, she did. Did you see that? Again, well, if they're uncomfortable, they'll let her know. Chill, dude. They're not newborns. Oh my God, these people. I hope you don't have kids. Are you honestly going to sit there and tell us? If they're uncomfortable, they'll let her know. They don't speak. Again, these kids are conditioned to not do that because they know their mom's not going to come. These people are crazy. I can't. I, they're crazy. Oh. Good one. The only issue that I could potentially see is that they could have pooped and they're sitting in it for hours. Obviously, they'd have a rash. So you'd want, and uh, it gets cut off here. I hate TikTok comment sections, man. They're so dumb. User bunch of numbers says, if a baby poops at like 8 p.m. in the night and doesn't wake up all night, would you wake the baby to change them? Yes. Yes, you would. Yep. You would. <laughs> what? Yeah. Are you saying that people don't? Yes. Man, maybe we're different. My wife and I checked on our kids like every 30 minutes when they were young. My wife still checks on our kids in their beds when she goes to bed. 10 years later, we still check on our children. If I went in to take out the empty bottles and smelt it, yes, I would change her. But she doesn't check on them. Amen. She doesn't check on them. She's made multiple videos saying she can't sleep a lot because she keeps checking them. Yeah, okay. I don't, I don't believe you. Again, someone says that she checks on them all night. Okay, well, here's your proof that she doesn't. Going off your logic, if she's up all night checking on them, her bedroom on first floor, why not take the nasty bottles down with her? She's not checking on them or she would remove the bottles and check their diapers. She doesn't check on them. Okay. I'm just reading all the comments. It's like nothing wrong with the way you're doing it. This looks, seems good. And that's the scary part about this whole thing. That's the scary part about influencer culture. My night influences millions of people who honestly have been, and we have proof in the comment section that they honestly believe what she's doing is good parenting. Now, the scariest part about that is that they will then, if they don't have kids, will think that this is normal parenting and will then do that with their children. And it's not normal. It's not right. It is abusive. It is negligent. And it is disgusting. That is the overarching message here. Maya Knight has a big following. Like if she was independently bad mother with no following, we wouldn't know. The problem is, is that she's terrible and she's negligent and there's proof of it. And her fans think that this is okay. Influencers make tons of money because they can influence people, good or bad. She influences these other, and a lot of them look like her age, to think that this is okay. And I don't even honestly believe anybody in that, in that comment section who actually has had children, maybe a couple of them, but most for the most part, do not believe what they're saying. That you just let your kids stew and shit for hours. I'm sorry. And again, what is the end goal to these people sticking up for my night? Do you think she's going to come to your house for a birthday party or something or invite you out to drink? What do you think is going to happen? Or is it that you want to justify what Maya is doing because you want to justify your own shitty behavior and your own shitty parenting? Methinks it's the latter. I'm going to go continue down the Maya night trail. I'm going to go through every single one of her videos if I have to, to prove to you guys don't do this. Look, if you want to stand her and her children and just like they're cute and whatever, cool. Do not give her a free pass though when she's a shitty parent. Call her out and don't stand up for shitty parent behavior 
because that perpetuates it. That allows her to think that it's okay. That allows the other fans who are young watching this, who do, who, who are yet to have children think that that's how you should be parenting. And it's not, let me give you some tips. Anybody who's coming over to here to hate from Maya's channel. If you're a parent or want to be a parent, take care of your children. Be very attentive to toddlers. Okay. They need almost 24 seven care. A kid will not survive on its own. This whole idea of like your kids need to be raised to be independent. Why? What? No, your kids should be loved, overloved, completely taken care of hand and foot. You are their servant. That's the way it goes. All right. I, I honestly believe that the more, you know, kids who are, who are super well loved are the ones that have the most attentive parents. Absolutely. Parents who little, maybe a little over worried. Sure. I prefer, you know, a helicopter parent over someone who doesn't even take care of the kids and lets them sit and shit for sure. Obviously, there's a balance you can strike in between there, but she's absolutely on the other spectrum of lazy, negligent, disgusting parenting. Prove me wrong. Happy to hear it. Everybody take a deep breath. Ugh, I don't like this person. She doesn't deserve the platform she has because she's bad, right? She's terrible. And you who stand up for her are terrible too. But you guys who are here to kind of walk with me in this journey about not exploiting kids online, thanks for being here. You're amazing. You're valuable. Your hair looks good. Holy smokes. And don't ever forget your worth, all right? I will see you tomorrow.